Hi guys, it's Marissa and welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be doing an eyebrow routine. A bunch of people have asked me to do it and I like put it off. But I finally did it and just a little disclaimer, I'm growing out my brows as well because I've been doing a new brow shape. So I'm letting my hairs grow to figure out which ones to take away. So yeah, if you want to know how I did my brows, then keep on watching. So for my brows, I use the NYX Eyebrow Gel in the shade Black, and it says it's waterproof, and I'm not 100% sure if it is waterproof, but this stuff stays on so good. When I first do my eyebrows, I start kind of in the middle of my eyebrow hairs, and then I go on the upper part of it, and then as you see here, I create my eyebrow shape because my natural eyebrow hair shape I don't like, so when I do use this, I go way above it to create a more round shape. And I go underneath my eyebrow as well to kind of create the thickness. And that's the only part of my eyebrow routine that does change is if I want a thinner brow, I don't go as far under or over. And then when I want a thicker brow, I go a little bit more higher and then lower. And then for my tail, I do this. And here, I always look at my eyebrow in the process of it. It's kind of weird. And then when I do my other eyebrow, it is a lot harder since there isn't as much skin fat I guess so to say I don't know and this is the real life of behind the YouTube video scene because here I messed up so bad <laughs> I got a big glop of the product and then it just messed up everything but I just ignored it and I used concealer to clean it up later on so I did film this terribly I cut out so much of my eyebrow when I filmed this I'm sorry but you kind of get the jinx of it I think I said that wrong but oh well you get the gist of it whoops okay so I do when I do that I look up with my head kind of um parallel to the floor so I kind of can tell if my eyebrow shape is even on both sides because sometimes one of them on the tail end is thicker than the other since I do create my own shape with it and then here I am, I use the NYX Eyebrow Base in Nude. It isn't technically a concealer, but I use it. And then here I clean up the tail of my brows, both of them. It is so good, even when my eyebrow shape is to die for. I clean up the tail with it. And then I do the parallel to the floor thing. I kind of look at my eyebrows to make sure how much do I need to take off or do I need to add more to it because sometimes one of them is super thin and one of them is thick. I'm like, do I want them thinner? Do I want them thick? Do I add product or do I put concealer on it? And then here I am fixing the blop of products that I ended up putting on there, unfortunately. And then when I do concealer, I do the middle of my eyebrow towards the tail of it and then clean that all up. And then after this, I will be doing the front part of my brow because I feel like it's easier for me to do the end of my brows so they look even and then move on to the beginning of my eyebrow with actual less product on the brush which is also make which also makes it super easy for me I'm really bad with voiceovers and I don't want to like start over have it cut so here I am just talking the whole entire time and my left eyebrow is so much harder so I'm sorry that my eye also looks weird I always apologize for it but I guess it's not really my fault but when I'm done with concealing the end of my tails of my brows. I then move on to the inner part of it, the front part, my favorite part. And this is how you do get the fade because you have all the product on the end part of your brow using the brush and then the remnants of them you use the rest. You use the brush with the smaller amount of product without having to use product and then getting either a blockier looking brow or having completely like two different colored brows. So I do it, I slowly I go underneath and on top of my brows, which is really hard to tell since I'm out of frame. And then I just fill in the inner part of it and create kind of a square shape because that's how I prefer them to look. People, this is kind of what's up to you for it. So here I am just, I weight raise my brows so you can kind of see them even though my left one doesn't raise that well. And then I kind of just create them similar. And now I'm going to be using some brow powder. I have no idea where this is from, but I just use a dark brown to kind of put a little bit on the inner parts of it so it does stay better because my inner part of my brows are very, very sparse. So I do put some powder just to make sure that, to ensure that it stays on there. And then next, I use the L'Oreal brow gel in dark brown. And I use that to set it because I found the drugstore products are the best for my eyebrows, which I love. It's super cheap. These are both around like seven to nine dollars, I think. So there you go. And then after I do that, I do go over it with the brush just because I feel like it sets it better. And then I use a highlighter 
on days like this and I just go underneath my brow and in my inner corner on both eyes even though the other eye is a little messed up but whatever so that's how I do my brows I hope you enjoyed my great voiceover so that's how I did them I look a little extra bronzy glowy right now if you want to know how I did this look then leave a comment below give this a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe all my social media is below if you want to give me a follow I hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you next time